where we looked at those cells uh, previously. So for today, uh, parietal cells, and down here in the bottom, these are mostly chief cells. Uh, just remember what, uh, some regenerating cells are in between those. And uh, in between the parietal cells, you see the mucus secreting cells. Yes, there are some enteroendocrine cells, let, let me not search for those uh, right now. Well, yeah, Dr. Fuller is right because, oh, this one is a pretty one. Hey, that is that has that halo around the nucleus, there is one at the tip of the arrow, and there is another one right here. They like to be, you know, close to each other sometimes, even if they are scattered, that's likely to be one. And this does not have that halo. However, if I move the file focus, you see that down here, towards the basement membrane, the secretum is there, uh, underneath the nucleus. Okay, the other one right here, I would not, uh, it may look like one, but I would rather say that the, the nucleus is too small. So I would say that is rather a lymphocyte passing through, but uh, it's not a sure thing, okay? But this one, this one is a very nice one because the enteroendocrine cell, if you, you look at it, the nucleus is lighter. If you look at the nucleus on this other side, that is a very light, uh, uh, dark nucleus, I would think that's a, that's a, a lymphocyte over there. If you compare it to these cells down here, right, uh, right here, those are lymphocytes too. And as I told you, uh, lymphocytes are able to pass through uh, the surface epithelium and go out into the, into the lumen. And there are a number of plasma cells here in the lamina propria, many of them here. All those cells are plasma cells. We're gonna uh, go to slide four. That's the pyloric uh, region of the stomach. Nothing uh, really to write home about because uh, what you're gonna <laughs> see is that the glands are much more coiled out. It means that when we look at, so this is the surface epithelium, the pit until here, and down here are the uh, glands, and most of the cells are mucus secreting cells. Again, this is an HNE stain, so the mucus is uh, dissolved, there is no staining, so the cells are white. The previous one was a pet staining where the mucus was stained. Actually, uh, pig. Oh, sorry, I, my allergy is coming out. Hmm? Okay, I'm sorry. That's funny. So, uh, mm. This is the pyloric uh, region. Let me go back to the lowest magnification. So we're gonna, we're gonna see. And then I thought IgA you had something to do with allergies too. A little bit. Something in the eyeballs we just learned about. Okay. Just look at it. Yeah, I told else. you the main the main muscle is not the muscularis mucosae. This is the muscularis mucosae. This is the submucosa here, and this very thick uh, layer here is the muscularis externa that forms the pyloric uh, and this, this is just the region where it started uh, to enlarge. We don't have more. Okay, uh, well, this is, uh, yeah, this is not, uh, this is the, the rouge of the, uh, the so, oh, I forgot to tell you at the, at the, in the lecture. So these large pores that also contain uh, the submucosa, in the stomach they are called uh, rugae, okay, R-O-U-G-E, okay, oh, and in the small intestine they are called 3K. I'm going to write that down. R-O-U-G-E. R-U-G-G-A-E, I think. And in the intestine is a it used to be in your, uh, yeah. um, no, it's, it's, it's not in your uh, lab note, but just try to remember, not a big deal. Okay, this is it. 
And okay, here are the gastric glands, mostly uh, pyloric gastric glands that contain mostly uh, mucus secreting cells. And I'm gonna zoom on that so you see it. Over here, all these are mucus secreting cells. That's why they are so uh, wide. Okay. And this is uh, the muscularis mucosa. This is the submucosa. And out here is the smooth muscle of the muscularis externum that forms the pyloric uh, muscle or sphincter. All right, so this was the first lecture. And uh, now we go to the, the second one. Uh, the small